and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. We got to be doing the final last minute market talk for the Harvest promo. Now, if you guys don't already know, it's Tuesday, and tomorrow EA did pretty much announce that the special stream will be going on, which means we'll know everything about Thanksgiving probably tomorrow night. I'm hoping they do a morning stream because then I'll be home to do it. But if it's tomorrow night, odds are I don't think I'll be home to take the video due to school. But the thing is about it is that once they announce the Thanksgiving promo cards, the market's going to change permanently because it's going to adjust the new cards we heard about, the new sets we heard about, the new things we got coming out. If they announce, like, let's say, a Michael Irvin or an Adrian Lane, the quarterback market will come down. So you have to anticipate that whatever they announce will affect the market. So this is pretty much the last day and tomorrow morning, obviously, the last time period to really do your last minute stuff in the market, sell, you gotta sell, do what you gotta do, because once the uh, once the announcement's made, it's like, that's it. Because older Madden's were never like this, because we didn't have so many news outlets. Like, back, let's say Madden 20, and I was gonna say Madden 25, back like then, it was like, you had to wait until everything was out in the game. So literally, even when the promo was out, people still might not know. You had to find it yourself, know it was out, but now, Obviously youtubers too, but now with so many content youtubers like myself and with Twitter and with and with mutt leaks and everything People know so quickly that literally the second it's even an idea that's publicized That's it. The, the, the market's gonna be affected. So just stay tuned for that now guys before we get into the video Make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that on to my boys and for the final market talk of the October November season before harvest promo Can you guys get this video to 300 likes you guys have been killing with the like button? You guys got my flashback video to over 300 likes. That's unreal. Thank you guys for that. Can we get this video to 500 likes? Spam the like button. Every single one you're watching right now. You guys have been crazy. It's like literally when the video posts, it just spams up to like 5, 10, 15, 20. It's amazing seeing it. So everyone watching, start hitting it now. And guys, like I said, subscribe to the channel. And comment down below what you guys are doing last minute before you get into the Harvest promo and the announcements. So let's head over to the auction block. Like I've been saying, guys, I'm not focusing on the lower tiers. It just doesn't make sense to me because no one really cares. I imagine I probably bore you guys. You guys probably click off the video at that point. I'm going to start from over here because I feel like this is a more reputable range for most of us. Now, these cards are super cheap. Like, Eric, we Eric Reed for 29k at 86 overall. Kind of crazy. Julio Jones, 31k. Honestly, I don't think this is a bad buy. Only because I feel like we've got a card in the near future. He obviously has that team of the week card, but we all know Julio's going to get more cards this year. So, it's really cheap for a Julio card. That's what I've been saying. In the 86 to 87 range, I'm definitely picking up some base leads that we think will get cards. Like, obviously, Zeke got his card already. Antonio Brown might not get a card for a while. Keekly and Clowney got their cards. Although, Keekly's card is pretty old. He could get a new one. Mahomes has to get a card in the near future, which is probably why his price is shooting up. I don't know why Ramsey's price is so high, but Mahomes will get a card in the future. I just don't know if it'll be in the Thanksgiving promo. And if it is, I think it might be the Blitz promo. And if it's either or, I'm scared that it might be an LTD, so let's just cross our fingers that it won't be. Because EA has this disgusting tendency this year to give all high name big ticket players ltds and it's really frustrating at this point because like I, I want deon sanders randy moss george kittle aaron donald ezekiel elliott they all cost over a million coins obviously now they're a bit cheaper because they're redux but when they were ltd that was just ridiculous so let's head over to the 88 to 89 range and let's see what we're working with so 88s are going for about 57k imagine if you filter probably 55 54 those flashbacks are super cheap i want to do a trading value conversion for you guys so you guys can have an idea because trading also shows you guys how cheap the market is. And so I wonder if it's below 20k. So let's say we get that for like 58k divided by 2640. It is 21 coins per training. And that's probably not the best one. There's probably way better ones. So that just goes to show you that the market is really, really down right now. What I recommend picking up training. Honestly, I would just wait. Because obviously with the Harvest Realm, we're going to see new players, new abilities you want. So wait till you have the need for it. And then training should also go down because the influx of new cards in the market. It's just standard. They're going to release a bunch of certain cards at certain overall limits. Price have to come down a little bit more. Bobby Wagner probably will be getting a card in the future, right? I think he has to get another card in the future, but I don't think his card would be great. And to be quite honest with you, 61k to invest for him isn't great because his speed won't be great. So I don't anticipate that he'll be that useful, although he's definitely probably going to get a card in the future. Tom Brady's definitely getting a card. In the Thanksgiving or Blitz. He has not gotten a card all year. It's Tom Brady we're talking about. Now, again, I don't think he'll go up too much. His power might be impacted a little bit, but his elite won't. I barely think that'll go up. It's already kind of at the price that we're expecting it. DeAndre Hopkins already got his kickoff card, although he could be getting one in the near future, but I don't think he'll be in the Thanksgiving promo. I think that wraps up the base elites for that, at least. And obviously, we have these seasonal performers and stuff, but I don't really bother with those cards. Although, 
No, what's his highest he can get to? 92, 93. Which I don't think they can hit now because he has to have. Yeah. When does this end? Is there a date or is this the whole season? No, maximum 93. So, good uh, I don't know. Some of these still might be good investments depending on how many wins you project them to get, but I don't know the end date. If there's no end date, then it's fine, but if there is, I think Odell will probably get in the card in the, in the Thanksgiving promo. So, obviously, this much superstar card will be a good inclusion, but again, I have the power pass, so I'll probably end up using that. So, setting over to the 90s to 91 range. Probably gonna be a lot of series redux cards eventually. Jerry Rice is about to be below 100k, which, this thing, see, I would love to have Jerry Rice, but we all know Jerry Rice won't be getting into the card for quite a while now. We have one chance. The Christmas promo is the only time where you could potentially get legend card upgrades. So they it. Unless it's sure they take a different approach where they start releasing legend upgrades as their second wave of legends on Saturdays, which honestly wouldn't be a bad idea. Because then we can upgrade our legends. But the only time we have a chance to see more legends is going to be on the Christmas promo when they do like crowd Ghost of Christmas Past. They can get like Jerry Rice, Randy Moss. Other than that, you're, like, that's why I always recommend like you don't stick with legend cards for a while because that's it Jerry Rice you powered him up like he's stuck on your team as a 90 not usable for a long time let's just say some legends literally don't see the next upgrade to like ultimate legends and you guys already know ultimate legends is um let's see let's see that's like the April March around there like that's crazy far from now most of you probably quit Madden at that point so that's why I always recommend you don't always just power up the legends you see. Always wait because some legends won't be getting upgrades. Guys like Dion and Randy Moss will. But they got my 10 obviously, so they're already increased as it is. So maybe they won't even get them to Ultimate Legends also. But one so a few of them usually get them during Ghost of Christmas Past. Now coming down, the most superstars are obviously expensive. So if you plan to power these guys up, you might have to use your power pass, which would really suck because that was a useful power pass. It was able to 87, 88, and the 89, 90. So I mean I have it sitting there just waiting. And I, I'll tell, I mean, I think I put on Michael Pierce, actually. But I could take it off in case I have to power one of these guys up. Because Gurley probably will get a card in the near future. Although, I don't think it'll be that great. Considering he's not really playing the best in real life after his knee injury. Kind of hurting him a bit here. It's, you know, pretty obvious to see. But, obviously, those Mutt Superstars will be getting cards. Gilmore probably, too. Gilmore can actually get a Thanksgiving card or a Blitz card. Would not be surprised to see that. And let's see, let's see. And then, obviously, the only one was a bust. The kickoff cards. Kickoff cards were not great. I mean... They're so expensive. Like people are people were like DM me like, should I use my power pass on Mac? Like that's just sad that you have to say, should I use my 91, 92 power pass on Mac instead of like Deion Sanders or Moss because you just want to be able to power Mac someday. Because their prices have to either come down at some point or EA might release them back in the pack. But they really did ruin the power chain for these cards, which is really frustrating. Maybe they'll allow us to power pass them at some point because these are impossible to even get, and it's like no one has them anywhere. Kind of frustrating. But would I recommend buying or selling? If you guys were wondering, I pro I'd recommend selling still. I mean, there's really no need to buy. At this point, we're so close to the Harvest promo. Just wait for the new cards. Because what if you buy a quarterback and a wide receiver duo, and then exactly that comes out there on the promo, and now you want the new one? Just a waste of coins right there. So, kind of my personal recommendation. Let's see what the, actually, I'll see what the next set of Redux are doing. 94, 95. So, okay, we'll start here, actually. Matt Burke, McCourty, and that is what consists of, that's what this category consists of. Now, Matt Burke, obviously a beast. People are like, why didn't you mention me your best players in each position video? Obviously, he's the best center, but the issue is, for 900K, I'd much rather have my Frederick that I got Nat for like a lot less than that amount of coins. And then Devin McCourty's pretty good and all, but he's a free card you can get from the trophy, so I would not even bother pushing for him with coins, although some people might. And then here, obviously Cam Newton below 200k. Not a bad deal, although I don't really think this Cam Newton's all that great. John Henderson, Beastly. These cards honestly aren't bad buys, but I think I'd still wait. I always like to buy my Legends on Legends Saturday. I never do it any other day than that, so I'd probably wait. Andre Reed, guys. Great buy right here. I was trying to tell you guys. He is so comparable to Randy Moss. If you compare him to Randy Moss, right? The other Randy Moss card, the, the other pretty much every month 10 upgrades going to have like two or three better stats every position. The catch is similar when you upgrade him all the way. The speed's similar. And again, he's not even powered up. The jumping will be slightly better on Moss. The catch and traffic will be way better on Reed. The spec catch will be better. The short route running will be way better. The medium route running will be almost the same. And the deep route running will be worse. But everything else is pretty much the same, if not better, on Andre Reed. I think he's one of the best receivers. I'm just waiting for his price to come down a little bit and see what Harvest has to bring first. But other than that, I think I'm going to have to go with Andre Reed at some point. He looks like a, he looks like a better Randy Moss without having to fork out all the coins. Now, let's see what the Redux cards are going for. Looks like same old, same old. Nothing, nothing's changed here too much. Looks like some cards actually went up. Yep. 
Aaron Donald was like 770 yesterday. But these cards fluctuate heavily because every part gets posted within like 100k intervals. So 850 means that his next card can be put up for like 770. So I'm not really concerned with the pricing of that, guys. But that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys like the new format of keeping it higher, hopefully you do. Let me know. I'm not trying to go too low because then we spent half of the video going over 80s to 85s. And it's not fun for anyone. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget, I tried to get above 300 likes on this. You guys killed it yesterday. Run that like button up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.